let's talk about tandem solar cell. Tandem mean multi junctions. This is one of the future technology. This is one of the hot area for the research, right? In this technology, in this tandem solar cell devices, I will find research gap. Let's see how we will find research gap. Right? Is we know that this is a separate perovskite solar cell, and this is a silicon solar cell. Currently, we know that silicon solar cell is the leader uh, market. Mean it's leading the market. The efficiency of silicon solar cell is almost 25 percent. Right? This means that when 100 percent sunlight fall on silicon solar cell, it only utilizes 25 percent. Very simple. The laboratory efficiency of perovskite solar cell is also 25%, right? This means that when 100% sunlight fall on the device, it only convert 25% and the remaining we lost, right? The logic is basically here that silicon solar cell or silicon material has a band gap 1.1 electron volt, right? This is not a terminology here in our technical world. This means that this material will only absorb certain amount of light. Mean this material will absorb certain amount of uh, photons. Mean uh, the low energy photons, right? Now, let's see here. The perovskite band gap can vary from 1.6 electron volt to 2.3. This is another story how we increase the band gap 2.3 electron volt. Okay, so look this solar spectrum. Uh, this is a visible spectrum, uh, mostly here, and we are not going to utilize the near infrared and ultraviolet and those kind of stuff. So what basically happening? Silicon solar cell alone capture only certain portion of light, as I explained. Here it means that the low energy photons, right? And if we are talking about the perovskite, perovskite only capture. Uh, the uh, low energy, uh, the high energy photons because it has large uh, band gap, right? Now, what basically we are uh, making these two cell combine to give us the highest efficiency. This is we call four tandem, four terminal tandem solar cell. Tandem means multi junction, T per terminal. If you look into here, this device has uh, four terminal one, two, uh, three, and four terminal, right? What we basically do, we fabricate perovskite solar cell separate. We fabricate silicon solar cell separate. Then we bring it and put it on the top of each other. And it gives us poor terminal tandem device. This is really, uh, in, uh, in reality, it is very easy uh, uh, set of, right? The perovskite solar cell should be on the top. There is a logic that why it should be on the top, right? And there is another reason for this that this uh, uh, solar cell, the top one, should be uh, transparent. Because if we do not make it transparent, then how the solar light will pass to the silicon? One reason is why we don't put silicon on the top because silicon is dark. If you look into silicon, you see here, silicon is dark, black. And when silicon is dark, uh, it cannot pass the light. So we will be in trouble if we keep this solar cell, perovskite solar cell at the bottom and keep silicon at the top. This is one reason that why we keep the perovskite solar cell on the top, right? And as we know that uh, perovskite solar cell is almost semi-transparent, okay? Now the, the future direction is to make it completely transparent, right? And as we know that third generation solar cell are disensitized solar cell, organic solar cell, perovskite and quantum light, these are almost transparent, right? So this is how we uh, get tandem solar cell. Now let's come to this two terminal tandem solar cell, this T per tandem, two terminal, right? This is one terminal here, this is another terminal. This one is little bit tedious job. It need more careful considerations very high class equipment and labor. Why? Because we make silicon solar cell first and the top of that we deposit perovskite. We deposit. It's very difficult. How to control these things? 
and just we put some other layers. This means this is also perovskite solar cell, but we do not make this separate. We make it on the top of this one. So this device basically a little bit tedious, and it also gives the same function. Same function means that uh, the top cell absorbs some light here, while the remaining light transmits to the silica. Currently now the perovskite, the the tandem solar cell just shows uh, roughly a 44 percent efficiency. Uh, uh, there are also some other type of tandem solar cell. Uh, if you look into this perovskite, perovskite also range from uh, 1.6 to 2.3 band gap. So you can also put two perovskite on the top of each other. Perovskite, perovskite tandem. <laughs> yes, would make one device from this one from the top and below this one. So some light it will capture this one and some will capture this device, right? So you can also uh, capture. Uh, uh, most of the light. This 25% mean that you just get uh, utilize 25% of the solar spectrum. For example, we get 100% solar spectrum, 100%, and we only convert 25% out of this, and the remaining 75% we are losing. This we lost. So this is the problem now, right? This is the problem that how to utilize as much as uh, light. So you can write the problem statement something like this. As you can explain that, we know perovskite solar cell yield efficiency 25%. Similarly, silicon yield this much efficiency. And we also know that the theoretical limit of the, the silicon is only 35, 30, 33%. So this means that maximum we can go to this level. So why don't we combine this cell to other cell in order to increase the efficiency to 50% or 44%. See, this is how uh, easily in uh, uh, good uh, statement you can make from a tandem solar cell, right? As I explained that this wide band gap uh, perovskite solar cell, the band gap is uh, like this. And if you use bromine there, so the band gap can reach 2.3. Perovskite are suitable for uh, use is a top sub cells in the tandem device. This should be on the top, right? This uh, top a uh, cell will absorb uh, high energy photons, and it will allow the lower energy photons to the silicon solar cell, right? And is the band gap can also reach to this, so it, it has a tremendous applications in tandem solar cell technology. So this is I just wanted to show how easily you can find uh, the research gap. Uh, uh, the problem statement from uh, any kind of device.